angel of the Lord just came. And so God, God send you help. He telling you, look, I'm going to take you out. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to set you free from this. Mm -hmm. But there's some things you got to do first. You can't do this. You can't go here. I got some promises laid up for you. Jesus. But you can't, you can't, you can't eat nothing that's not good for you. You can't drink. And what he was saying was you can't do what you choose to do. I got a promise that I want to birth out of you. I got a promise that I want to give you. But you can't do what you want to do and think your promise going to come. Right. You can abort the promise by eating the wrong things, touching the wrong things, drinking the wrong things, doing your thing instead of God's thing. Yes. And so what he said, he said, look, send word that I'm blessing them. I'm going to bless them. But they got to obey me. They got to do what I said do this time. This time, don't eat nothing. Don't drink. Y'all been waiting on this birthday. You ain't been able to. You've been buried in some areas. Mm -hmm. Some areas in your life been buried, stagnated. Things you just can't see your way through. Husband won't act right. Wife won't act right. Children won't let up. Some things won't act right. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you right now, if you don't do this, then I'll give you this. Just obey my commandments. Obey my words. And this is what we have a problem with. Jesus. Obeying God. Yeah. So we can't never eat the good of the land because we won't obey. We're too rebellious. Oh, let me stop. Because we're talking about Delilah, right? <laughs> and so, and so he told me, he said, don't do, don't do nothing. I'm going to give you a baby. I'm going to give you a son. Don't cut his hair. He ain't allowed to. You ain't allowed to eat nothing. But when he come, he can't cut his hair. He can't eat nothing. He can't touch nothing that's unclean. He can't do nothing. Let's go to chapter 14 right quick. We're going to do this quickly. Quick. <laughs> chapter 14, verse 2. Verse 1. Oh, we're still in the same thing. Samson was born. Samson grew up. Samson was an Israelite. Okay? He was an Israelite. He was supposed to save the Israelites from everything. He was a judge. God made him a judge. God made him to have, have a strong, he was strong. His hair was his strength. Amen? His hair was his strength. He had power of 20 men. This man, this boy was bad. Could nobody defeat him. He was killing people left and right with his bare hands. Amen. Listen, he said one day when Samson was in Timnah, one of the Philistine women caught his eye. One of the Philistine women. Who was the enemy of the Israelites? The Philistine. Why was Samson born to defeat the Philistines? So what happened was something that wasn't good for him caught his eye. Something he was supposed to kill and destroy at the at first sight. It caught his eye and he began to lust after Jesus. When you weren't supposed to go to, you turn around and looked at it and it looked good. God said, leave it alone. God said, you can't touch that. God said, no. That's for you to kill. All you do, you only thing you do with that is go in and conquer it and kill it. Sexual sin, kill it. Lust, kill it. Desires that you know not of God, kill it. That ain't supposed for you to go and look, let it catch your eye. You're supposed to kill it. So anyway, anyway, it caught us out. So when he returned home, he told his father and mother, a young Philistine woman in Timnah caught my eye. I want to marry her. Get her for me. This is what he said. He said, get her for me. I want to marry her. Get her for me. His father and his mother objected. Isn't it? Even one woman 
in the tribe among all these Israelites you could marry? Right. <laughs> Must you marry a pagan? Philistine? Can, do you have to find a wife? This, 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 what God said, wasn't your wife? Jesus. But you have to tell I didn't tell you that. I told, that's Philistine. <laughs> what, what business do light and dark have together? Do you listen to your mama and daddy sometimes? <laughs> or do you tell them, I don't care what you say, I want it. <laughs> hey, listen. So, 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 he said, listen, okay? But Samson told his daddy, I said, get her for me. She looked good to me. I don't care what you say, mama. I don't care what you say, daddy. That's what I want. But baby, I see something in that girl. Baby, I see something in that boy. You better not know that one right there. Don't, uh uh. You better not, look at the little good boy over here. This is, he ain't he good for you. He got a job. I want that. I want that. You know, baby, I done been through some things and I done seen some things. And I, you know, learn from my mistakes, learn from me. And I don't care. Let me do me. I'm grown. Mm. I don't want to hear what you got to say. Jesus. Wait a minute, baby. I want what's best for you. Shut up and get it. I don't care what you say. This is what I want. How many here want what they want? And they don't care if God said wait. God said don't touch. God said no. How many here do what you want to do? In a hot. Okay, it's a price too. It's a price you pay for sleeping with the enemy. Jesus. Her name is Delilah. Jesus. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, and so anyway, anyway, they, they let him marry. Him. But that wasn't enough for him. He married the he married the pagan woman. He married the Philistine, but she still wasn't good enough. He wanted more. Because when you choose to do you instead of God, you're never satisfied. Because you made the choice. God didn't make that choice for you. You chose that. So guess what? Because when you get something that you knew wasn't good for you, it looked good to you. Did you hear what he said? It looked good to you. But once you got it home, the package was tainted. It wasn't good as you thought it was. <laughs> so then all of a sudden, Samson began to look again. Why well, he had a wife at home. Jesus. Wait, no. So Samson went and he looked again. And we'll go to chapter 16. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. You ready? It says, Chapter uh, 16, starting at verse 4. We'll do it like that. Sometimes later, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah, who lived in the valley of Sarek. The rulers of Philistines, to, of the Philistines went to her and said, Entice Samson to tell you what makes him so strong and how he can be overpowered and tied up securely. Then each of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. Entice him. The enemy has sent something to entice you. The enemy has sent somebody that look good. Something that look good. Somebody that smelled good. A job that wasn't called by God. A man in your life that you knew. He just looked shady, but you was lonely. <laughs> so that was good enough for you. Called, just, oh my God, just as long as I can get a conversation. Can I just get a call from somebody? Please, God. I'm tired of being alone. Go over there. <laughs> And see that person that can't wait on God. I 
I'm sending somebody to you. This is how the enemy does. So the enemy couldn't conquer Samson. Everything, everything that the enemy threw at Samson, Samson was knocking it down. You can't get me there. You can't get me there. I got that. Oh, oh, you tried to take my mind, but no, I still, no. He finds your weakness. What is our weakness? A man or woman. This flesh. The lust of the flesh. It's the lust of the eye. So it's the lust of the flesh and it's the lust of the eye. Amen? Amen. They just look good. I just want it. <laughs> and so anyway, so anyway, he, he, uh, he got hooked up with Delilah. So Delilah said to Samson, please 